Does Jaguar have something electric up their sleeve? Nah, because you know, you can't, you can't fit a car in your sleeve, Erica. No chance. <laughs> Zero chance. Subaru shows a new concept and Rolls Royce Ghost goes Middle Eastern. A Rolls Royce Ghost. Uh, plus Mazda strong arms the Tokyo Motor Show with a stunning concept. Also, it's hump day, folks. You made it up the hill. You put in the work. So let's slide on down right into Friends Day Wednesday. Isn't that right, AK? That's right, Derek D. There we go. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Derek D. This is Fastlane Daily. And to that guy who's watching FLD for the first time and about to comment calling me a douche, relax, man. I'm a chill guy. We have fun here. Let's go. There is a new Subaru Impreza coming soon, and we know this because they showed a concept version at the Tokyo Motor Show. The new Subaru Impreza will debut later this year as a, 2000, as a 2017 model, and from the looks of it, it's gonna be a pretty exciting Subaru. Yeah, that's right. Shaping up to be one of the coolest we've seen in a while. The design will, of course, influence the next Subaru Impreza WRX and STI models. Erica, your thoughts? I'm so excited. Stoked she is. Uh, they're the fun ones, you know? So I guess the only thing left to say about this Subaru Impreza concept is, are you impressed? Mm -hmm. Moving right along. If there is any place in the world where you'll always find exclusive limited edition and extremely expensive supercars and luxury cars, it's in the Middle East, over in Dubai. Seems like everyone is just, everyone's rich there. Well, it being Halloween this week and all, Rolls-Royce has launched a new special edition ghost called the 1001 Nights Edition. Fun name? Huh. I don't know. Which has kind of an awkward two-tone brown or like brown-orange exterior color scheme. Not sure if we like this, but we're guessing it's popular on the other side of the world, so there you go. It also has some artistic pinstriping. Not sure what it means, but hey, if that's your thing and you have a couple extra hundred grand, Laying around, feel free to buy one. In related but unrelated news, that Halloween comment I made earlier actually has nothing to do with the Rolls Royce Ghost launch. I just tied it together. Right. It was a tie in. <laughs> We've all seen the full production version of the Jaguar F Pace crossover. So, what's next for Jag's vehicle ambitions? I'm going to give you a few choices A, a new entry level sports car, B, an all electric crossover, or C, your mom. Well, if you guess C, you'd be right. Jaguar's making your mom. What? Yep. No, that, come on, that's not right. Don't talk about my mom. The answer is B, of course, an all-electric crossover. Duh, as if you didn't know. Uh, Jaguar is apparently working on an all-electric crossover to compete with the Tesla Model X and the upcoming Audi Q7 all-electric e-tron. Well, good luck, Jaguar. I do like this Jaguar video, though. It's like Voltron, but with Jaguar F with, with, with the uh, Jaguar F-Pace. All the pieces of it are coming together. It's just fun to watch. Erica, do you know what Voltron is? <laughs> Think old school cartoon Transformers kind of thing. Oh, man. If you're keeping up with the Kardashians, then punch yourself. But if you're keeping up with the 2015 Tokyo Motor Show going, right now, going on right now in Japan, then high five yourself. Because you know the most significant debut of the show goes to the new Mazda RX Vision concept. That's right, friends. Three, year, three years? <laughs> three years after pulling the plug on the rotary-powered RX-8 sports car, Mazda has signaled that it hasn't given up on the engine design that our buddy Mike Spinelli calls a Dorito under the hood. You know, because it's rotary. And a Dorito, you get, you get what he's saying. The rotary engine gave the brand some of its amazing successes. But what kind of power does this engine pump out? Well, Mazda hasn't released any specs, and we don't think they plan on it either for a little while at least. So, so far all we know is that it's a, it is a next generation rotary engine that Mazda has badged Skyactiv R, which coincides with the rest of its current engine names. So, we'll see what happens. A lot of people are excited about it. Yeah. I think it looks cool. But what flavor Dorito would it be? Is it Regular old school just cheese. Not Cool ranch? No, no cool ranch. I mean, I like it, but no, just regular Dorito. The, the OG. The OG rotary, the OG Dorito. Okay. That's right, AK? Well, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> right, AK, you know what time it is? It's not commenter of the week time. I know that. 
And it's hmm. Wednesday, it's hump day, hmm. so what is it, do you think? Hmm, let me think, hmm. <gasps> it's Friends Day Wednesday. That's it, Friends Day Wednesday. And uh, we're all friends here, so let's go. First up is FLD fan Kyle Fer Ferlita. Kyle Ferlita right here, who loves watching FLD while eating some mac and cheese. Erica's favorite. My favorite. Yeah, he also is uh, drinking some Mountain Dew and some muscle milk, all while keeping post-it notes in business all around the screen. Wow. This should literally be the poster picture for a college student. Mac and cheese, Mountain Dew, muscle milk. He's got post-it notes with like people's birthdays and like final exams. Wow. You get it. FLD fan Parth Jogia, uh, in exact contrast to that other picture, watches at Apple headquarters where he works. Very cleanly desk. All Apple products, nice and neat. Is that Cupertino? And Cupertino, yeah, I think Cupertino, I guess so. Uh, so, uh, yeah, there's the contrast. She has some mad discounts. Yeah, man, there's some discounts. Hook us up. Email us. <laughs> <laughs> Tips at Fastlane. <laughs> there it is, Erica, nice. <laughs> Next is Garrett LaRussi here, who sent us this pic of a tricycle Audi. Uh, looks like an A4, and they just took out the front and just put in a wheel. I'm assuming that's just to move it around. If you hear the sirens, that's because they're so excited about the show right New now. New York is happening right New York now. is happening. Um, but I don't know what's going on with that. Um, FLD fan, Satur Lamb, I guess that's how your name. Uh, nice plank though, bro. Uh, sent us the ever elusive Chevy Jaguar. Or as people in the know call it, AK, the Chevaguar. That's what it is. Give the guy credit though. He really went to town on the badging. Okay, I mean, it's, it's done well if you consider that done well. I mean, it's, it's all wrong. Matthew Bonafide here. Oh, cute pic with his daughter. I'm assuming that's your daughter. But he said he's been searching for a while to find the perfect car to send in for Friends Day Wednesday, and he sure found it. A Hummer with all kinds of flair. Chrome flames everywhere. Dozens of chrome swans or birds, and like, you know, that chrome, like, silhouette of the woman sitting. Um, he has a huge gold bulldog on the front of the car. And on the back, there's another huge statue of a dog. What dog was that? Pharaoh hound. A pharaoh hound or something. Ah, crazy. Saying this thing is gaudy is a huge understatement. So like, if you hear a statement, I mean, like this is where it's living. It's way under it. Exactly. You get what I'm saying? FLD fan, supper tired. That's not his real name. His real name is Justin. He snapped this photo. No, not the Lexus. Enhance the motorcycle trailering a mini Corvette. I'm assuming that's like a storage trunk disguised as a Corvette, or it's just a really awesome Power Wheels. Either way, it's cool. Cool to me. I dig it. Next is FLD fan, Atik Naroz. Sorry if I said your name wrong, man. Uh, he likes fishing, I guess. He posted this picture on our Facebook page of this RX-8, but check the license plate. Totally trolling cops since 1980B. The B looks like an eight or a three and it's a jersey plate, and the plate says 88B88BB, which just looks like all eights are all Bs if you look at it real fast. Troll, clever, my friend. Apparently, uh, Atik swam with a whale shark as well. I noticed his cover picture. Look at that, it's pretty awesome, man. That is. Nice. Uh, Devendra Jagoo, that's a fun name. Posted this for us to burn our eyes with. Yeah, a lime green crown Vic with spoiler alert. That downforce, though, Erica. It's intense. That downforce, though. And last is longtime FLD fan, Anthony Castellucci over here. Castellucci. Hey, hey, I'm going to talk to Tony Castellucci right now, all right? So just let me do okay. Anyway, <laughs> he, uh, he's repping the flash. Uh, he responded to our FLD guest gin of the day last week, remember? We had Shay in here. Yeah. And I always pronounce her name wrong. Isla. 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 I want to say Isla. Isla. Um, so he responded to that. And he has a crazy story he told about his scariest driving moment when he was a Marine. Uh, it involved a ghost or something uh, that was, uh, and the ghost was walking like this. Yeah, I can watch, it's pretty funny, you can watch that all day. <laughs> but uh, I thought the story was pretty interesting. If you'd like to go watch it, the link is in the description. And uh, there you go, that's for Anthony, that's for Tony Castellucci. You go over there, you watch Tony. Quality. Even though he's from Pensacola, Florida. Quality guy. He needed to be, uh, he needed to be you know, protected, as they say. Blew his cover, sorry, anyway. All right, FLD, question of the day. Oh, thanks all our friends. We do appreciate it. There was a lot of posts this past week, yeah, so it was hard to pick. Yeah, great posts. If you didn't get it in there, we saw it. We tried to respond. 
That's all. You're still the Thank best. You. Yeah, you still rock. What, I, what Erica said. Ha. Our FLD question of the day is quite simple. What do you think of the Mazda RX Vision concept? Will that be the next big thing from Mazda? The next RX-7, if you will? An RX-9? We'll see. It's just in concept form, so you never know. Hashtag FLDQ of the D, and you can send your own in to... Tips at FastLaneDaily.com. Thank you, AK. And that's it for this episode of FastLane Daily. I'm Derek D. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great rest of your hump day, which goes a little something like this. <sighs> Have a great rest of your hump day, which goes a little something like this. Which goes a little something like this. Yeah. Oh. Have a great rest of your hump day, everybody. Which goes a little something like this. Blue. Boop. Pop up. Beep, 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 be